Hi guys, uh, welcome to the next update uh, for the WBP Fox from Atlantic Firearms. Uh, this time for that thousand rounds, the rifle really, really traveled. Uh, so we started off uh, together with uh, Paul uh, back in the land of the Lincoln and uh, the rifle went through the sand tornado test. So on the sand tornado test, guys, rifle scored uh, seven shots if i remember this correctly not bad but uh, nothing to write home about it uh, as always with the sand tornado test we got a lot of variables in play uh, but it is what it is uh, we push push it through the sand tornado i don't think so uh, you know i was uh, like uh, overdoing it or anything it's just how it sorted out uh, seven rounds it is what it is still her rifle was uh, kind of, you know, the sand was dumped off, to, uh, clean from the bore and continued to fire. And I have to tell you, with the exception of the sand tornado stoppage uh, in this thousand rounds, there was absolutely no malfunctions. So it went through the uh, almost whole thousand rounds uh, with the exception, as I said, sand tornado without any uh, malfunctions. Uh, rifle worked uh, in, uh, you know, really snowy weather, warm weather, uh, the rain and everything uh, it went through a lot and uh, we're doing this video from the Ozarks uh, as you can see completely different background uh, but uh, this is where I did most of the scenes and uh, some dumps as well so the mixture of everything uh, but uh, it is what it is at this point I would say rifle is still very extremely a uh, pleasure to shoot uh, I'm enjoying it and uh, with iron sights or with the optics it has regular standard rails so uh, all the RS regulate uh, or your comb block uh, mounting systems have, it will fit and uh, it, it continues uh, to work uh, well but as always enough with the bullshit talk let me start digging inside and we'll see what we got here because this is what you're paying for right you want to see what's happening to those guts and the recoil spring uh, nothing to report on the recoil spring recoil spring is holding up without any issues let me pull out the bolt and the bolt carrier this is where most of you want to see what's happening so i would say that there is a little bit uh yeah, I would say that there is some splash on the bolt carrier, but we are at 3,500 rounds. It's still not looking, uh, you know, not looking bad or anything. Uh, if this would be my private rifle, I would probably round off that trigger hammer and uh, make it more smooth. Uh, but because we're doing the testing, this is the test sample, I don't want to do that. So uh, I can pr I'll probably do that later. But uh, so that's that's what I'll try to mitigate and maybe put the, a little bit stronger recoil spring. So that's what I'm seeing on the rear end of the bolt carrier. You guys will be the judge on your own. Uh, inside the cam channel, everything is looking great. I do not see any any you know deformations and of course the piston head is looking good too so this is so much for the bolt carrier uh, bolt I bitched about it multiple times already uh, finish is almost gone I still don't understand why they even using that uh, you know powder coating finish uh, on those bolts but uh, it is what it is but the bolt is looking absolutely fabulous guys all the surfaces what you want to see they are flat there is uh, no steps on the locking locks no nothing everything is just looking good and the extractor claw is working great still very good extraction and shooting out those shells uh, just like it shoot away from you and uh, not not really uh, you know nothing to bitch about here the firing pin on both ends is still looking good and I would say the bolt is holding up very well let me have a look inside the right side of the trunion this is this is just the finish or gone i think if you guys will spot something on the pictures i missed in the commentary remember i'll wipe it out for the pictures and everything so you will have a better view you want to have no, but this is just the finish gone not not the metal deformation on the left side we talk about it that was that uh initial uh missing chip chip uh, from the when the bolt travels away from the rails and transfers to the rail and that was there but that is not progressing so it was just that initial contact how it worn out 
but it is here i want to report it and everything here is looking good chamber is looking good as i said the trigger hammer is winning the fight between the trigger hammer and the rear end of the bolt carrier let me flip it underneath here it's lock all looking good guys mag release catch nothing to to talk really rivets on the trigger guard looking good on the side still looking good and on the other side still looking good uh, let me pull out the gas tube and here we go for the pirates union look inside or oh, everything inside the gas tube is looking good no uh, any any um, damages or anything uh, if I have to complain about something I would say that the front retainer uh, for the handguard is a little bit loose on that uh, barrel from Poland let me pull it out a little bit to see everything is looking good guys I don't see any any problems of course the plum colored furniture that's how the rifle came in this is original furniture and the gas black everything here is looking good let me check those pins here are good on the front post good and on the other side is looking good muzzle device is holding up and as you can see for the iron side so uh, it's not really that much canted it's just a little bit to the left not much everything is looking good all right guys uh, that was a quick update uh, for the 3500 rounds of course stay tuned we have to reset and set up for the no-go gauge test and we'll go from there choo choo train ready let's go and nothing guys one more time nothing and one more time just to be sure nothing absolutely nothing perfect no change in head spacing rifle is cleared for another set of rounds thanks for watching thanks for being with us and thanks for supporting akou guys